Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course uh, today we'll continue our study into cell organelles okay we have had a very interesting time okay discussing about all these what cell organelles the last episode looked at the chloroplasts okay we look at the chloroplast and in this episode we're going to look at the mitochondria all right and of course uh, I remember telling you in the last episode that the mitochondria and the chloroplasts uh, 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 almost have a similar structures, okay? They almost have similar structure, okay? So in this class, I'm going to we'll talk more about what the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria is referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. And do not forget that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam CBT practice app. The exam is a Jam CBT exam, and of course, the app is a CBT practice app, it's a jam CBT practice app. So you need a very good CBT practice app like this app to ace your exam in flying colors. Okay, please, I want to beg you from the whole of my heart. All right, focus on passing your exam at once. All the resources, all the tools that you need to succeed, get them. Do not be worse stingy to yourself. I know the, uh, the harsh economic conditions, but please do not be stingy to yourself. Have what this application on your phone to study, okay? And I promise you that you are going to do very, very, very well. All right. So please, uh, do not forget that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the what by the app. So please, uh, join us and what and learn and what and succeed together. Okay. So there are so many reasons why you get this app. Uh, there are questions, all past questions are on the app. So you don't need to go and buy four past questions for what for six thousand. I've got one nine, so one thousand five hundred outside. Okay. So this app is just three thousand. Then of course, it has what. Uh, Question start feature, then it has mock challenge every Saturday. So before the main jam exam, you're already used to all jam question, you're used to all jam set question, you're used to jam likely question, you are building confidence to the main exam. Every Saturday you participate in mock by 10 a.m. Okay, so you have all you need in this application. Okay, so before then, let us before we talk about my tokondra, let us take a question from the O3 school jam. This is a 2022 question. Uh, 2022 model uh, 4, number 35, 2022 number 35 question. It said, the organelle involved in tissue respiration is the A, by giving the nucleus, B, the mitochondrion, C, the ribosome, D, the reticulum. These are many more questions. It's what we're going to do at the end of this class. So please, I implore you to stay till the end of the class. Stay till the end of the class. All right? So let's talk about the mitochondria. Like I've said, the mitochondria and the chloroplasts have what similar what structure, okay? Have what similar what structure, okay? Of course, last episode I told you that the chloroplast has what a double membrane, okay? It has what a double membrane. So does the mitochondria. The mitochondria has what a double membrane, okay? That has what that contains two layers. It has what a double membrane containing what two layers, layers one and layer two, okay? So the mitochondria has what? A double membrane, okay? Containing two layers, layers one, and what? And layer what? And layer two. So I didn't put the one there. Layer one and layer two, okay? So why the layer one contains proteins known as porins, which allows movement of ions in and out of the mitochondria, okay? The layer two contains what? Folds. Contains F O L D S folds that we call Christie, that we call a Christie, C R O I S T A E. Okay, please take note of that. Okay, so we say the mitochondria contains what we say double it has a double membrane contains double membrane contains two layers layer one and what layer two. The layer one contains proteins known as what pronins. Porins, sorry, sorry, known as all porins, P O R O I N S, okay, which allow the movement of a ion in and out of the mitochondria, okay, but layer two contains what folds, F O L D S, that to call what Christian, okay. Now, it's also important that to know that apart from the fact that um, it has a double membrane like the chloroplast, it also has an intermembranous space like the chloroplast, okay? It also has an intermembranous space, okay, like the chloroplast. And also, it has, they have what? Their own ribosomes and what? And DNA, okay? They also have what? Mitochondria also has what? Ribosomes. Ribosomes. 
and what and DNA. Okay, for the chloroplast, we said that what the ribosomes and DNA are located in the stroma. If you have not watched the last episode, please go and watch it. Okay, because every episode is what it's an ensuring episode to the pre preceding one. So please make sure you follow us episode by episode. Okay, so that you can easily what grab and understand what you are what, what you are doing. Okay, so the ribosomes and DNA in the chloroplast are located in the stroma. S T R O M A in the stroma. S T R O M A. But the ribosomes and the DNA, okay, are located in what? In the mitochondria matrix, okay? In the mitochondria matrix, okay? In the mitochondria, okay? So please take note of that, okay? So I say that what? They have similar what? They have similar structures with what? With the chloroplast, the mitochondria. It has a double membrane containing two layers, layer one and layer two. Layer one contains protein known as what? As porins, while what layer two contains folds that we call what Christian. Okay? And also see that oh, they have an intermembranous space. Okay? That we call what? That uh, they also have what ribosomes and what? And they also have the ribosomes and DNA, which are located in what? In the mitochondrial what? matrix. Okay? So please, aside, uh, aside, aside these, the uh, um, chloroplast and the mitochondria also have what draw or similarity. They do not draw similarity, they do not draw similarity only in that structure. They also will draw similarity in the fact that a chloroplast, like we said in the last episode, convert light energy from sunlight. Okay, a chloroplast con converts light energy from sunlight into what chemical what energy that are stored by the plant as starch or what that are used up by the world by the plant. We, talk, we, talked about, we talked about that in the last episode. Okay, but mitochondria, it is different in mitochondria. Okay, the mitochondria convert chemical energy, chemical energy into what, what to call ATP. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. ATP. Okay? We say what well, the mitochondria converts what? Chemical energy into what? Uh, into what? Adenosine water transporter. Chemical energy in the food that we eat oh, into what? Adenosine water transporter. ATP. This ATP is what we call the energy currency for the cell. We call it what? The energy currency. Energy currency for the cell. Alright? We call it the energy currency for the cell. We the cell need. We the cell need to perform different tasks. That's why I call it the what energy currency. This ATP is what the cells need to perform what different what tasks and what and functions. Okay, so we call it what the energy what currency ATP. All right. So now we have to say that means that what that the mitochondria is what is opposite in function to the what to the chloroplast. But the chloroplast converts light energy to what to. Uh, to what to chemical energy? Why what the mitochondria convert chemical energy to what to ATP, which is what adenosine what tris for triphosphate. Okay, which we call what the energy currency for the cells, which they are which the cells use to perform different functions or what tasks. Okay, so now aside knowing this, it's also important that to know that what that this process of what of cellular respiration. Okay, this process of cellular respiration whereby what. They convert chemical energy to what to ATP, okay, which is what the energy currency for the cell. This process of cellular respiration occurs in the internal membrane. It occurs in the internal membrane. This process of cellular respiration occurs in the what internal membrane. Okay, and of course, it is very important that we know that what they are aided by what by this crystal. Okay, well, that, 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 as a prof, that, that aided by what by Christian C R O. We talk about all the folds. Okay, in the what in the first layer of what of the double membrane. Okay, so we say what well, these folds. Okay, this uh, Christian, which are what which are the folds. We say the this process of what internal membrane that occur this cellular respiration. The process of um, uh, this process of cellular respiration that occurs in this internal membrane. They are aided by what by this fold this Christian. This folds. What they do is that what they create what. More surface area for the world for the for the reaction to what to occur. Okay, they provide what more surface area the foods or the foods they provide more surface more surface area for the reaction what to occur and also what to generate more energy quickly and also to generate more energy quickly. Please take note of that to generate 
energy quickly okay so the function of what of those foods okay are, are to what are to uh, is to give what uh, uh is to give some more surface area for the reaction to occur and to what to generate more energy what quickly so please take note of what of those two functionalities okay so that is all we need to know about what the the mitochondria we call it the powerhouse of what of the cell the powerhouse what of the cell because it produces what we call what this atp the adenosine transfers the uh, adenosine triphosphate that was that that is what the energy currency for the what for the cell okay so now let us go to our notes for those of us who are taking notes down for those of who are taking notes down it's very important please take your notes down all right so please do not forget to like this video before we go to the notes do not forget to like this video okay if you are if you do not like this video weekend is one finish you so please just like the video because liking the video will make other students to easily find this channel and find this video and they also watch and succeed like you so do not watch this video at all without liking it as you are watching it now you can just do it so that you do not forget just click on that hand and look like this just take a look, just once, and that is all. If you have not subscribed, you are doing yourself because subscribing to the channel will send notification to your phone whenever what will release what a new what video. Okay, and do not forget to share also to your class groups, to your to your friends who are writing jam, to your family members who are writing jam, anybody that is writing jam. Ah, I've heard about O3 Schools channel. Please let them know about what the channel. Okay, now the mitochondria. Let's go, go to what I want to say. What the outer layer contains proteins known as what as porins which allow movement of ions in and out of the mitochondria. Okay, so the function of what of the mitochondria we said was it's a site for what for ATP formation. Okay, site for ATP adenosine one triphosphate what synthesis in aerobic respiration. Okay, so hence they are referred to as the powerhouse of the cell, the powerhouse of the cell. So they are usually present in cells that possess high demand for what for energy that that what actually found in cells that the, that what that possess what high demand for energy such as what sperm cells such that liver cells such as what muscle what cells and the likes okay so please I'm going to what quickly what go to the app and take some questions and we'll be done with this class okay now let us quickly take a question from the application uh let's go to the first question we looked at the 2022 question number 35 we say the organelle involved in tissue respiration okay is the what of course now I already know what is the mitochondrium okay all right it is the what is the organ that is what involved in what in tissue respiration there a the same nucleus b mitochondria c ribosome d the reticulum okay and the correct answer there is the mitochondria okay it is known as the powerhouse of what of the cell the cells it is the cell's main energy source okay and it happens what through a process of what of cellular respiration we talked about it in the class now uh let's see uh okay this is a two, 2017 question number 19 okay it says that the, in the process of respiration in the process of respiration energy is transferred from glucose molecules to the molecules of what a says what atp b a c t h c d n a d r o n a okay we say we'll convert what chemical energy from the food that we eat okay into what adenosine triphosphate atp so the correct answer that will be a these are millions of other questions are on this application please go and download this application activate it to get, to get what access to all the functionalities and what you see yourself succeeding my name is master t your favorite biology teacher and i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching